hey my amazing people hey guys how you all doing so guys i just came across this video trending on tiktok trending on facebook and also on youtube as well so uh, i decided to share i decided to make my own video because uh we are all here to create awareness we are all here to share information so this video is all about um it's for those who travel by air often and those who are going to be traveling by air so that they should be very very careful of uh, in case they come across people like this um, inside the airplane or even in the airport so that they will be very very careful because there are people in the airplane and in the airport who are not uh, traveling genuinely or rather whatever it is they are carrying can put one into trouble so i decided to uh, create awareness because my uh, my page is for those that are traveling those who want to travel abroad and those who uh, want information on how they can apply for their visa so it's all about relocation you know it's all about migration so that's it guys i decided to share just watch this video to the end and please make sure you follow make sure you like make sure you share and drop comments in the comment section till i come your way in another video bye for now my name is kufi Bedu. And this is for those who travel by air a lot. If you travel by air a lot, please beware of over friendly, chatty city neighbors. There was this day, an old lady comes in and sits next to me inside the plane. She asked me to help her put her bag in the overhead luggage compartment. But a gentleman sitting across quickly came through. Immediately, she sits down. She strikes up a conversation. She was very pleasant and well-spoken, so we chatted all through the flight to Dubai. Suddenly, when the pilot announced that we were now proceeding to begin our descent into DXB, my good friend developed stomach pains. Me with my good heart, I pressed the steward's button and the stewardess came to find out what the problem was. I told her my seatmate was not feeling well. And this lady, she suddenly began to address me as my son. The stewardess told me that there was nothing they could do except give her some painkillers and wait until we landed. So we landed at DXB and the same gentleman who helped put up her luggage in the overhead compartment removed her luggage. But as he removed the luggage, he advised me to distance myself from this lady and make it clear to the cabin crew that we were not traveling together. This man was a godsend. So indeed, the cabin crew came and asked if we were related. I categorically told them we had met on the plane. I didn't know her at all. So we began to the plane. And as I said goodbye, she kept begging me to carry her handbag. I was so torn, but the gentleman looked me in the eye and emphatically shook his head. As we waited for our luggage to come through, I then hear this commotion. My new friend was running, trying to escape the cabin crew. Luckily, the airport police were faster than her. They got hold of her and brought her back in handcuffs. This lady starts calling out me, my son, my son, how could you do this to me? That's when I caught on. She was actually carrying drugs and she was trying to implicate me. Luckily for me, the gentleman who had helped her with her luggage came forward and told the airport police that me and her had just met on the plane. The police, however, took my passport and asked her to reveal my full name if it was true we were traveling together. By God's grace, I had not even told her my first name. I was still asked to follow the police to a little room where I was questioned, questioned extensively, and my luggage was extensively searched and dusted for fingerprints. They dusted all her luggage and my fingerprints were not found anywhere on her luggage or on her handbag. I was let go with advice never ever to touch anyone's luggage, either in flight or at the airport. So from that day, I don't care how much luggage you have, you will deal with it yourself. I will not even offer you a trolley to put your luggage on. Your luggage, 
your problem. That is my new policy. And if you can't reach the overhead compartment, and I am the nearest person, please call the cabin crew, because all I'll do is give you a blank stare and then look away. This is a simple advice. I'm just saying it. Please think about it. <laughs>